Welcome to the markets brought to you by StockX. Boom, 2022 is here. What a way to start the year. Uh, farming doesn't stop, um, but I hope that you manage to get off the farm or have a bit of a break uh, um, between Christmas and New Year. Um, we've generally seen good feed conditions around the country, uh, which is which is always positive. And uh, and the schedules have held up pretty well between the break too. So it's been a it's a pretty good start to the year, um, which may, which always makes for happy people. Right, let's get into the numbers. Um, you'll see here there's uh, there's been some softening across most um, species and weight brackets. I think what you're finding there is that we're going to settle into a bit of a rhythm for the next wee while, and those corrections are just uh, giving you those indications. The lamb, uh, 27 to 32 kilos, uh, bigger drop in the, in the north and the south, and the south is leading the way. There is uh, there is premiums being paid for short lambs currently, and that will continue to go forward. Uh, the R1 bulls, 80 to 120 kilos, a uh, bit of a drop there in the north, uh, but the positive sign is that there's been a bit of a strengthening and a resurgence for the uh, demand and the pricing for the bulls in the South Island. The R2 bulls, 300 to 350 kilos there, small soft in both North and South Island, uh, but the demand is still there for those uh, for that weight bracket of cattle. The R2 steers, 300 to 350 kilos. Is a continuing trend of a small drop in both North and South Island there. Uh, and finally the R2 heifers, 300 to 350 kilos, managing to hold in the North, um, but could be softening coming going forward. Uh, and the uh, South Island has seen a drop there. Um, as always, if, uh, if you're wanting to discuss pricing, listing, all those buying requirements for us to get up on site for everyone to have a look at, uh, feel free to get in contact. We're only too happy to help. Until next time.